Hi, we are here with another tactic. Mm -hmm. Let's understand the position. What we have here is the king is very really limited, right? If I go rook f3 and then push pawn is a mate. How can he prevent it? And interestingly, he cannot move the king. Oh, he cannot do anything. Rook f3. Then if he takes my pawn with the rook, it's okay. I just take it and then I'm okay. If he plays rook d6 to prevent my pawn push, I play pawn f6. And then after that I push, I don't see any way to prevent it. Hmm, I'm afraid if something then uh, is specific is going here, but let's go there. So f6, this was our plan. Okay. No, the problem is that if I push the pawn, he just takes it and I cannot take it back because... Yeah, that's a good defense. I cannot take it back because um, I'm pinned. How to get rid of this pin? Do I need to get rid of this pin? Or could I simply push to f5 and then bishop g4, then rook h3? Hmm, that's very slow plan. I can wait. Uh, he is in Suksuang. He just can move the rooks. I can move the pawns. And wait for him to make some nonsense move. And try to queen the pawn, but this is very slow. Hmm, let's think, uh, let's try to think differently. Ah, maybe it's just pushing the pawn and winning the rook. I push the pawn say check no, I push the pawn he grabs with the rook and then I say check and he goes away with the king then I grab the rook okay that was so easy I saw too much about it wow I saw this whole thing up to here and then I didn't see that okay I can just win material this was so easy So here, I grab the pawn with check, no, I grab the rook with check, and one thing that I can do is that to grab everything with check and then win the bishop, right? Like, grab this with check, say this check, say this check, win the bishop. This puzzle was so easy because what you see is that the queen is defenseless, the rook is under capture, so the first thing you try is to capture the rook in mind before implementing and then you saw that the queen is defenseless and the only defender of bishop is the queen so if you deflect the defender you should be able to win and this is the way to go we deflect the defender of the queen and my queen had to take my queen and then we won so here i'm i'm thinking about pinning the bishop because I want to grab the bishop and then push the pawn and make it queen. And my queen comes in with a check. But I should also consider what happens in his territory. I pin the bishop, he grabs my pawn, I grab his bishop with check. He takes, I move the pawn. And if he moves the pawn, I say check and win the pawn. If he doesn't move the pawn and moves the king away, again, I'm making queen and I'm fast enough. But another scenario is that I pin the bishop, he pushed the pawn, he doesn't grab anything. He pushed the pawn. I grab the bishop, he grabs, I push the pawn. Uh, he pushed the pawn. I say check, yeah, it's, uh, it's a winning scenario. So I should grab this bishop, right? Otherwise I will be immediately mated. 
yeah let's go there another thing i was considering was this scenario that after this uh okay i was considering this scenario that he pushes i take he takes i push and he pushes but this queen is on time to take care of the business here it's very complicated actually it's not that easy because um, what do you do here go there and yeah because it's queen queen is so powerful that can win everything and uh, you see even such moves are possible with queen and mates so let's go to the next one we had a little bit progress today so far let's hope for the best so i can grab the knight with the check and then what if i grab the knight with check let's do it this is uh, the thing that i should do no i can push to treat a mate right i push the pawn and i'm threatening mate he defends the pawn not with the rook anyway i take he has to take my pawn otherwise uh, rook h1 is a mate he takes my pawn with the rook no i can't grab the f pawn and attack his bishop and he mm, cannot grab my bishop let's push it let's take it so my plan was to grab the f pawn because once i grab the f pawn his bishop is under attack right and his bishop is under attack and he should defend the bishop he cannot grab my bishop another idea is to go for example to h4 and say check at h1 but for that i don't think i'm in time because after h4 so is it h4 h1 a good idea because after h4 he plays no, rook f1 and i don't have anything concrete here so let's do the easy job grab the f pawn and enjoy the life oh okay it was easier than i, I expected so i pushed to queen because i want to make a threat oh finished here i pushed to queen because i wanted to make a threat and grab the bishop i was thinking about another scenario that after i grabbed the pawn he defends this i don't know why he didn't defend and maybe because of this move no i had this h4 and the uh, rook here doesn't work this time i believe because i can bring the other rook as well and why it was working previous time why it was working uh, it wasn't working here if i was going here he was able to grab this and then this move wasn't so fascinating because like uh, what i want to do i want to grab this one then i'm my king is very weak no uh, yeah this uh, when the f pawn is removed i was able to bring the rook into the attack so that was it see you